What if you want your AI generated art to have a specific pose, or if you want the art to have a according to a certain image, then ControlNet's Open Pose is your friend. Today, I'm going to go over the model Open Pose in ControlNet, how to extract pose from an image, how to create your own poses, and I'll even dive a bit into these settings. This is a complete beginner friendly tutorial, but if you are new to Stable Diffusion, please check out my previous Stable Diffusion beginner guide to get used to the interface. First off, the installation. In your Google search box type control net web UI and the first results you'll get will be the link to a github page you can find this in the video description as well this page will take you to the official github page of control nets web UI extension now scroll up and copy the link of this github page now go to stable diffusion go to extensions and you'll get a list of extensions you've installed here go to install from URL and paste your link in here now click install now if you go to your install tab you'll be able to see control net extension in here just like mine but we are not done now go to apply and restart UI for the changes to take effect now the newly loaded web UI should have a control net extension right here if this didn't work make sure to completely restart the web UI by closing the command prompt and then doing a fresh restart and now we are done we have control net now in your web UI you should be able to see the control net extension if you expand this little section you see you get a ton of options I'll be diving into the main options we need very very soon, but first we need to download a model for this to work. Yep, just like how you download models or checkpoints to generate art, ControlNet has models as well. To download a model, type ControlNet Hugging Face on Google, then go to this Hugging Face model right here. Here you can find details about the original ControlNet. Now go to Files and Versions, then Models, and here you'll see a list of models we need for our ControlNet preprocessors. As you can see, we have a ton of preprocessors, and all of this needs a model. Now click on this openpose.pth model and hit the download button. Then copy this file and go to your web UI install directory. Go to extensions, SD web UI control net models and paste your model right here. I have it pasted right here. Now we are fully done. So let's take a deep dive into the settings. First is the place where you need to upload the image. Remember when I said you can extract a pose out of an image? This is where that happens. You can upload your image right here. Now to enable the extension, you can click the enable checkbox right Right here. Without checking, this control net won't work. If you have a low VRAM, let's say 4 gigs or 6 gigs, then it's best to check this low VRAM checkbox as well. I have 8 gigs of VRAM, and this seems to work fine without checking this on, so always try out before clicking that. Next is the pixel perfect mode. When using a model, you should have a preprocessor resolution, and pixel perfect makes sure you don't have to manually set the resolution, because it will automatically recognize it. Next is the allow preview button, which will show the preview of the open pose model of your image. Control Net works by using a preprocessor with a model. Preprocessors take your image and extract information for the model to use, which is then applied on the image generated. Now the control type shows the preprocessors we can use, and in this case, we should only focus on open pose. Clicking on open pose and then going to this preprocessor tab will give six options, including a none option, the good old open pose option, and then open pose for various parts parts like face and hand. Right next to it is where you should load the open pose model. If you click on the drop down, you should be able to see it. And if you can't, make sure to click the blue refresh button down here. The next important setting is the control weight, which is like denoising strength in image to image tab, since that controls how much the control map or output generated is followed relative to the prompt. The preprocessor follows the resolution of the image, and control mode tells whether to put more effort to the control net model or the prompt or to keep both balanced. Now let's get to work and generate an image with a certain pose. Here I've written a set of negative prompts that I often use, and in the prompt box, I'm going to write the prompts I want. In this case, I want an image of a girl with long brown hair wearing a white blouse with raised arms. Since this is just a tutorial, I'm going to go with a simple background. I keep the sampling steps for 50, since I need some detail. Set the resolution height to 768 and hit generate. As you can see, the keywords I used, hands up, only worked to a certain extent. I don't need this. I want her to raise her hands above her head. Even if I use a keyword like raised hands, you can see it doesn't give me the results I want. Okay, so this is worse than the last one. So what can we do? We ask help from Control Net. I open Control Net and load this image right here. Now wait, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Images downloaded from the internet can have different resolutions. And to get the best results, it's easier if the width of your image, the pre 
across the resolution, and the width of your generated art is the same. To crop your image, you can go to a site like Berm, which I'll include a link in the description, and then enter your width and height, then click Save Files. All of this is completely for free, no hidden fees like a ton of other online editors. Now load back the image, make sure the open pose is selected, and from the preprocessor, select open pose, and for the model, select the open pose model, and finally click on enable option to activate it. Now wait for the generation, and there you go, it has the exact resolution as our image. And now if you click this second box right here, you can see the pose they have extracted from our image. See those raised hands? That's the pose we need. Now that you know the basics, you can play around with the values. For example, increasing the control weight and focusing more on control net will give the same result but with a very more accurate pose, but with a little bit of quality sacrificed. Now let's say you don't know the resolution of the image, or it's an image that cannot be cropped since the subject fills the image. Check this image out. As you can see, this is a completely different resolution. Now I click the pixel perfect checkbox right here. It generates, and there you go. It adjusted the settings and perfectly used it on our image, but still, make sure not to use images with too much space. In my previous try, I used this really large image, and you can see the result I got. Remember, even AI has its limits. Now what if you don't have a picture with the pose you need? What if you have a pose you want to create yourself? Well, there's a trick for that. In Google, search for Open Pose Editor. Now go to this GitHub link and follow the previous installation process. Copy the link, go to Extensions, paste it on the tab, go back to Installed, and click on Apply and restart. And after a short restart, you should be able to see a new tab called Open Pose Editor right here. If you click on it, you'll see this new screen with an Open Pose skeleton on the right. You can change the positions of the skeleton any way you want. In this case, I'm going to go to the usual hands raised position. If you want, you can even add another skeleton and create two images. If you want to save a particular pose, go click on Save Preset and enter the name you want. You can always reset the pose using the reset button and load a pose using the load preset set button. Pretty cool, right? To send this to text to image, click on the send to text to image box, and this will get loaded on your control net tab. Now to generate the art, you can click on enable box, click on open pose, and in here, make sure to keep the preprocessor empty. Remember, we only need a preprocessor to find the pose of an image. We don't need it when the pose is provided. Make sure to keep the model the same though. Now hit generate, and there you go. The face is obviously bad, but that's because we didn't use hires.fix and didn't have the generation settings relevant to the model, but you can see they gave us the exact pose we had. We can also provide our own image in this tab and generate the pose from that image as well. Remember that little tip. So that's the end of this tutorial. We obviously didn't touch the face or the hands, but I'll be doing a video on that soon. I hope you gained something from this video. As usual, make sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more AI updates like this one. That's it for today, AI gang, and I'll see you all in the next video.